Welcome back, my pals. It's time for Saw Simulator. I just got back from Second and Charles, just enjoying my time, and you would not believe my surprise, though, at the checkout line. As I stood there, I looked out, and what did I see? Pocky sticks. God's gift from the world to let him know he loves us. For it is written that God looked upon the wasteland and said, Let there be pockies! And there was. And he saw that it was good. So since the last time we, uh, we played as Carlos's team, I think this time we should uh, explore Q-Team. Because I actually think Q-Team's probably the most interesting one out of the group, just because of their very weird dynamics that they kind of got going on with everybody. Like, they don't, they sit, they seem like they might wind up synergizing. Um, I guess it doesn't really matter what we choose at this point. Let's try this. Love Pockies. I'll go check out the other rooms. Have fun. Hmm. 1810. That Eric. Why is he even bothering to look in the other rooms? We already searched through each one when we first woke up. Nothing. I don't think we've seen all of them. Uh, there was that one room we couldn't figure out how to get into. Oh, that's right. Ah! Let's go! Oh, Whoa. cool. How crazy is this? I was tapping spots on the wall in the hallway when... You opened some kind of secret door. You did good, I'm impressed. Oh, wow, this room has a whole lot of books. You like to read? Do you like to read? Um, I don't know. Come on, you're talking about yourself here. I don't know, but do I like to read? So, what is this room anyway? Study? Though it's practically an entire library. Seems like someone was just here. Uh, who? The only one who can wander freely would be... Right. It's got to be Zero. So that means... This is Zero's study? If it is, then there's got to be some sort of clue. Something about who Zero is, or how to get out of this crazy place. If anything was hidden in here... Those safes would be the best bet. Let's start looking! Puzzle time, baby. Let's get it rolling. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, they're like little pictures of all of us. Part D. That looks like a desert eagle. FGY. I could have sworn that's what I put in. I'll try it again. HFGY, right? they make it.
Okay, so those... that's not what I need to find. Is this the moon? It is. Okay. That's all there is for up here. Let's get back down. This was the dumbest path to get to X.
It's like a giant tumbler. It's a super tumbler. Right three, left five. Oh, yeah, that's right. That slide you just heard. I've got a theory on this one that I start at the bird and move down from it. So let's see. So five down from H, three down from F, seven down from G, five down from Y. Let's see if I'm right. So first I'm going to set everything. It's like a decoder ring almost, you know? But first I'm going to set my coordinates. Okay, so five down. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five. Hey! They like to do that in this game, I can tell. They like cross mess or cross mesh puzzles like that. Bullet for C team, arrow for Q team, acid for D team?
Bullet for C team. Okay, so let's blow away C team with the gun. Team. Grenade launcher? Wow, that is a really interesting M79. It looked like it would fit. We're gonna shoot it from the balcony! <laughs> We're gonna shoot a grenade in a confined space from the balcony. That's how grenades work, especially when launched from an M79 just 10 feet above. That was way, way more easier than that other room I played the other night. This room was considerably easier. Uh, what does kill one mean? It must mean we have to kill someone. We have to. What the? That's not good. Oh, he killed himself. No! Did Carlos just kill himself? I think so. But why? Maybe it had to do with Junpei's body? Aside from us, Akane's left. But why in the world did D-Team... The execution. Back during the vote at 1330, D-Team was... Well, the reason why isn't the issue. What's important is the reveal of five X-Passes. In other words, 
If one more person dies... Okay. Grenade launcher point hey, blank. We should stay calm now. Let's just put these weapons down. Put yours down first. But what, what are you saying, Eric? If, if I put mine down, then you'll... Huh? Look over there! Why, Mira? We're in love, aren't we? Um, Eric, this will be hard for you to hear, but I think you might be mistaken about that. You're lying! Then why is a gun pointed at you right now? No, it's not what it looks like, Eric. <laughs> I love you He's with shaking. all that I am. Mira. So you know what you need to do, right? Huh? You don't get it? Uh, um, what do you mean? God, how dumb can you get? Mira, this isn't you trying to get Eric to kill me, is it? Don't be stupid. I have this gun pointed at him so that I can protect you, of course. If I drop my weapon, then Eric will. Then Eric, how about you putting yours down first? No way. Not happening. Well, I guess we have a Mexican standoff, down. don't we? You'll definitely kill Mira. There's no way I would. How would I know? What proof do I have that you won't up and fire that thing? Is it decision time? Nope. <laughs> it's just six hours later. Still, still hey, standing aren't here. Getting anywhere like this? If just one more person dies, one more person, one more, just one more. Oh yeah. What if I put in a Kane? Cannot get to Sea Ward. <laughs> okay. I vote we kill Eric. Eric's a shitter this entire entire time. He's gotta go. He's probably the least likable of all these characters. <gasps> get him, Q! Oh, wow. Are you for real? Oh, yeah, we're for real now. This just happened. <laughs> this is a joke, right? That's not funny. Looks like it got you pretty good. You'd probably come out okay if we moved to help you right now, but... M Mira? Eric, I'm going to kill you. I... I see. Of course. You only me. One more. Do you have any last words? Mira... I... Forgive... You... You look better when you smile. <sighs> Why? You're asking me that? Yeah, I shot You're the him. one who took the first shot. Y yeah, You're right. But how, how can you be so... Calm about it. Calm? Oh no, I'm actually surprised right now. I had no idea his last words would be the same as my first. Your first? No, not that way, it's something else. First of all, it's not as if I was actually dating him or anything. I guess you weren't really in love then. I suppose he thought we were though. I just let him go since it would have been a hassle. A hassle? What about how Eric feels? 
It's feelings, huh? I haven't really been able to understand emotions my whole life. Anger, sadness, pain, fear, and things like love. So when Eric said he liked me as much as he did, I didn't know why. I don't even really understand what he said before he died. Damn, so you're a psychopath. What are you doing? I'm going to touch Eric's heart. Ever since I was little, I've always been told I'm callous and unfeeling. Why did the faces on people change? I never understood what expressions were. I'd take a mirror and practice making them every day, but they never quite looked right. One day my mother told me something. Deep inside a person's chest is an object called a heart. This heart controls their emotions and changes their expressions. I remember thinking, that's unfair. Why was everyone hiding this important thing inside so no one else could see? I wanted to see what it looked like. I decided my first would be a woman, about the same age as my mother. I waited on an isolated street so there would be no bystanders. And then I stabbed her without warning with a small knife I brought with me. I'd practiced on animals, but I was still surprised by how fast she collapsed. Why did you do this? I want to see what a heart is. I think I'm the only one who doesn't know. <laughs> oh, God. Hey, that's where you hide it, right? I know where it is. Hurry up and show me! I forgive you. So please don't ever do something so terrible again. Can you do that? Why? Because smiles look better on you. Smiles? The woman didn't answer me. Patted at her face for a long time. Oh shit, she's she the one who's anymore. been like taking everybody's hearts oh. out. Looks like I made a mistake. When oh, I gave up on waking God. her, I thoroughly searched for her heart. It took some time, but I soon felt an unfamiliar, warm, comforting sensation. I knew it. It was here. The last expression the woman formed on her face was a smile. Well, that's when I realized that this kind of moment was when you should smile. I began to hunt for that, reaching out and touching heart after heart. I was terrible at it at first. I barely touched hearts and always badly. But after doing it over and over again, I eventually got better at it. Fear, hatred, Sadness. I learned about so many emotions by touching hearts. And there was always new expressions to see. But unfortunately, after that first, I was never able to find that comforting heart. I wanted to feel that warmth one more time. I wandered aimlessly, searching to find someone who held that same warmth. And that was how one day... I came across Eric. He was working at an ice cream shop. With one glance, I could tell he was useless. No talent, no worth, nothing. I've seen many hearts of those like him, but none held my interest. Naive, helpless weaklings. It's as if they're amusing creatures simply there to be exploited. That's all I saw them as. But Eric... Something felt different with him. I stopped by the shop several times to watch him. 
I just had to figure out how he was different from all the others. I tried talking to him. I spent time speaking with him, going places together to learn how he reacts. But I still didn't know. At one point, I would thought I'd made a mistake. But... This is it. I knew Eric would be different. I had a hunch when I first met him, and I was right. I told you, didn't I? And his last words were exactly the same as my first. Cute shooter. How incredible is that? She's out of her gourd. Oh, oh. this person. Really, truly loved me. Load the so bolt, Q. This, this. Now announcing the current casualties. C T. Carlos Junpei. Q T. Eric. <laughs> Looks like I made a mistake. I just noticed. I think that's an anagram. An anagram? You switch the letters around to get a different meaning. The truth is invisible. So that's what it changes to, huh? What do you think it means? Hmm, I'm not really sure. Maybe it's similar to a human heart. You can't see it because it's hidden inside your chest. All right, should I put them in? Yeah, go ahead. Find, jump, pull, 
Well, that was something. Achievement unlocked. What is love? Don't hurt me. Man, what a terrible person. So decision time has four options. I'm wondering if we can put the gun down. Let's just see if we can real fast at this decision time. Did you just, like, kill everybody with that? <laughs> what an idiot. Now announcing wow. current casualties. CT well, it's official. Both those people are shit. He fired a grenade, it rolled to the floor, and then exploded. That is one hell of a fucking M79. He mentally set it off in his head. Let's go, Mira! Let's get out of here. Build a happy home and wonderful future together. Yeah. <laughs> You'll get your just desserts in the end, Eric. You could even say she's going to uh, rip your heart out. Man, I don't think I could be any happier. I have you, Mira. Man, this bed is super comfy. <sighs> I couldn't ask for anything more. Isn't that right? Yeah, right. Uh, I hope we can be like this every day. <sighs> Forever and ever and... Mm. 
Mmm, yes! X gonna give it to you. He gonna give it to you. Game over. Fuck Ooh. you. How about that? Okay. So, everybody but Q in that room is a piece of shit. This room is... The Trash Disposal Room. Isn't that what it's called on the map? Spy. I don't know. You don't know? Yeah, there's only three up, of us. She's already here. gone. Maybe she managed to get out of this room. Do you think we can? It opened. Sigma, it opened. And? Uh, um, well, I didn't really expect it to, so. What the hell are you doing in there? Cutting my next album? What do you think I'm doing? I'm locked in here. You're locked in? Why? Dropping those funky beats? How should I know? This is where I was when I woke up. Stuck inside this incinerator. Alright, hit the chamber. Put her out of her misery. Hang on, I'll get you out now. No, no, press the button. Press it. Damn it! It's locked! Is there a keyhole? I don't see one. Probably an electronic lock. <sighs> Push the button, I've Frank. I bad feeling about this. Incinerator startup will now commence. Good job, Frank. Incineration in 30 minutes. And nothing of value okay, was fine. lost. Stay calm. You're the one flailing and freaking out here. Anyway, we have to do something. Either stop the incinerator startup, or unlock the door. Okay. I'll see if I can do anything on this side. I'm counting on you. That should be my line. Hey, I'd like to avoid the worst sunburn of my life in here. Let's hurry. Right. Let's not. Can we just wait out these 30 minutes? Where's the button? Mash him. Okay, well. That looks like a casino coin again. Okay, well. Let's just pick up stuff while we can. Gas torch. Need a screwdriver for the incinerator button. PVC. This may very well be on a timer. That is a cool gas mask. Does it have like night vision in there? Or is that just to protect your eyes from the blowtorch? No, that's night vision. <laughs> Why? Oh, hold on. Hold on. Hold up. Hold up. Is there something inside? Okay, no. Thank you. 
Obvious question, the gun. See if this works. What did this do? What did this give us? Oh, the irony, it's screwed shut. Well, whatever the case, I need to get in this box, but I just don't know. Gee. G is in what? G. G is in what? Okay, best I can figure is that TIC is going to be 
correlating to numbers. That's the best I can think of. There's just not enough fucking information here or enough tools to go by anything else. So C is obviously three. Oh no, that's not gonna work out anyway. T's too high. Garbage. Garbage. else in here. Can I get the base? No. Oh, I think that's overstayed its welcome. Maybe there's something I can use the blowtorch on. Still really surprising that I can't use it on that. Oh, so you can get over here. What the hell was this? Oh, this is from her perspective inside with the flathead screwdriver. Thirty-three grams. Okay. Obviously, she'd need to weigh the screws, too, apparently. Hundred eighty eight pounds. Twenty two, so that's one fifty the gas torch in here for. Let's send the toolbox over.
Got it. Oh, to simulate like it's being burnt. That way the door opens. It thinks the incineration process already happened. We can use the coin to unscrew. Friar! Oh. to send it over to her.
Diana, or refrain. Diana, both of their lives rest upon your decision. Well, unfortunately, the only path that could result in both of them living is if I pull the trigger. There's no time, There's Diana. There's a 50% chance I pull save the them trigger. both. Logically, which one has more to gain? Exactly. He if we gets don't it. pull that trigger, I'd obviously stay alive. My chance of survival would clearly be 100%. But then a guarantee five death, as her survival rate would be zero. What happens if we do pull it then? The incinerator door would open, and Phi escapes. Chance of survival, 100%. And this choice still allows for the possibility that I may live. Blank round. That doesn't suddenly have any more. It's 50 50. Yep. So exactly. you understand, right? It's either 100 and 0 or 150. It's obvious which one is the wiser choice. How dare you not even consider everyone else's feelings? Ah, huh? shut up. What if the shot is a live bullet? Yeah, she'll fight no. this fire with her bare hands. Diana, please, listen to me. What would be the most ideal outcome from this? Isn't it obvious that both of you stay alive? Exactly. Okay, then think. Which one of those choices has that result as a possibility? If you don't pull it at all, one of us will definitely die. If you really want to save both of us. I'll have to pull the trigger. You shut up! Incineration begins in 20 seconds. Oh yeah, we're pulling this trigger. We're gonna ride Don't it. Worry. Just trust me. No! Don't do it! He's cool with it, and he knows. He knows the risks involved. Do you feel lucky, punk? He wasn't lucky. Incinerator door is open. Incineration process terminated. No. It can't be. I don't think that's I a fair assessment. I didn't matter at all. I, I, I didn't. I didn't. So why? Why did you? <laughs> There's still two shells left. Please wait for me, Sigma. I'll be joining you... soon. Wait! Diana! Stop! Yeah, as it turns out, shit-talking someone who just did that was probably not the best decision you could have Diana. made. What do you mean, game over?
game over my ass. Oh shit, they... that death led to this. Oh. So when they fucked up, that was when we had the room. We had to roll the dice for how many of us would survive. Wow. Okay. Gun versus incinerator. Let's do this again. I mean, the decision's obvious. I'm not gonna just... If you don't pull the trigger, you're basically condemning someone to death. At least when you pull the trigger... Like, you're gambling that you're going to save someone's life. So, it's a no-brainer. Quite literally for that guy. Achievement unlocked. Calculated risk. Incinerator door is open. Incineration process terminated. Sigma? Sigma? Hey, you all right? Are you hurt? Oh. Huh? Damn, my ears really hurt. They're killing me. That might have ruptured my eardrum. thinking, Diana. Why did you pull that trigger? Math. We got lucky that it was a blank. But if it'd been live, then Sigma... Hey, it's all right. Everything turned out fine. There's no way I'll accept that the end justified the means. Listen, Sigma. You'd be wrong, then. Diana made the decision. It was her choice to pull that trigger. That means she didn't that there was a 50% chance you'd die. So, where are you going with this? It was to save you. And she did. She saved your life. Hell, you should probably be thanking her. I didn't ask for any help. Now announcing the current casualties. Q team. Q. Mira, Eric, these three are now deceased. As a result, three X-Passes will be revealed. I kill fool. That is all. Damn. I can't believe it. So, because of the vote at 1330, they were executed. But even Q... He had to deal with a handicap. He probably didn't even realize something was wrong. <laughs> What's wrong, Diana? You too? What? Diabetes! What's happening? I think we were poisoned. Probably while we were asleep. Why? Who really cares right now? We only need to save. Wait! 
these are... Could be a ruse, but Carlos seems like a fairly straight shooter. I vote we drink it. If not, what's the alternative? We die of the poison anyway? Uh, I... I'm gonna trust in C-Team 2. Well, I guess we'll find out. I still don't get it. What in the world is C-Team thinking? Did they have a fight? You mean Akane and Carlos took opposite stances? That's the only explanation that makes sense. Akane sent Gab with the antidote in order to save us. But that would have been an incredibly unfavorable outcome for Carlos. If that wasn't what he wanted, then he wouldn't have voted for Q-Team. Aren't you thinking too hard? I really doubt that Carlos intended for Q-Team to be executed. How can you be so sure? Well, he's an honorable firefighter who saves lives. <laughs> Simple-minded as always. We've only known and lived with him for five days. How could we have any idea what he's thinking? No, it's not an issue of time. It's just not that easy to see a person's true self. Even yours, Fi? Yeah. Does that mean you're hiding something from us? Yes. What is it? Don't laugh, okay? My hair is actually red. <laughs> I said not to laugh. But, I mean... It's a big deal for me, okay? I have a complex over it. So that color... It's dyed. I figured I may as well make it something unique. Well, I'm a redhead too. Yeah, you're being rude to Diana. Well, it looks good on her, of course. I mean, try to picture it. My face, but with red hair. Aw, I think 
like it'd be super cute. Hmm, not too bad. It'd be a good look for you. Ah, good. It seems you three are okay. Zero. It's good for you to rejoice while you can. You can look forward to a dark future. What does that mean? Now it is time for you to sleep. When next you wake, know you will have no memory of these past 90 minutes. Pleasant dreams. Classic Gamers, if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more, and please feel free to check out some of my other videos on the right. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.